I've been talking a lot about the concept of time in the last few weeks. The concept of time. And, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> it's amazing how much people talk about time um, as if it were something that was manipulated, that, that, that could manip be manipulated in ways uh, to our advantage. And um, I think that uh, sometimes when I hear people say, um, I'm going to wait till the right moment to make things happen for myself. Um, I'm going to wait for the right moment. I'm going to wait for my kids to graduate school. I'm going to wait for my, and I'm going to wait for my, and what ends up happening is we all know, and you know, years pass and uh, situations occur and we end up um, hearing the same things from individuals like that. So today I'm going to recommend a book, two books. One of them is called Go For No. And the second one is Today Matters by John Maxwell. You don't, you don't know, guys, how many people tell me, I want to do this. <laughs> I want to do this. I want to, you know, be successful. I want to be successful. I want to do what it takes to make my life a success. I want to get out of where I am. I want to make a difference in my community. I want to help a bunch of people. And, um, and, I, and I hear that a lot. Everybody wants to be significant, successful. Everybody wants to have an opportunity. <laughs> uh, um, I'm always talking about confidence, independence, a productive lifestyle. I think confidence arrives when you really truly believe that you're able and capable. And how does that happen? By achieving a small goal at a time. People want the big pie, all right? They want that big pie. They want the something to arrive immediately, right away, um, in a timely fashion, according to their needs. And uh, confidence occurs by achieving small goals at a time. If you want that big pie, uh, you're gonna have to work at it a little bit at a time. You're gonna have to try to see if you can make one thing happen today uh, that will catapult you to that next one, right? Confidence comes not when you work on the big pie, but when you work on that little part of the big pie and you decide, you know, I've got what it takes inside of me, but I've got to make it succeed. I think I was listening to a person earlier this weekend in a conference where he was saying it takes about 212 degrees to move a locomotive that runs on heat, right? Um, water can boil at 212, but not at 211. And it's just that one degree that makes the difference between just warm or hot or boiling. And so what does it take for you to gain some confidence? What it will take is today, taking the action today, not tomorrow, not tomorrow. And you can actually justify yourself by saying, I want it. I'm ready for it. I want to do it. So I always talk about this. And um, my friends hear me talk about this all the time. There are three frogs on a log. One frog decides to jump. How many frogs are left? Just let's remember something. A decision doesn't make something happen. A decision says, you know what? I'm tired of being tired of being tired. <laughs> A decision says, you know, I'm sitting here and I want to jump off. But you know what creates uh, the result that you're looking for in your life? It's called the action step. It's that thing that's that 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 moment you spring for it and you say, I'm going to stop saying I'm going to do this. I'm going to stop saying I'm going to get off this log. I'm going to stop saying I'm going to pay my debt off. I'm going to stop saying that, you know what, uh, I don't have enough to run 
I, you know, at the end of the month where my money runs before my month ends, you know, it, it's, it's, it's that time when you say that, that different, that difference between saying, I want to do this, I'm ready to do it, but I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm concerned about what's going to happen. I'm not concerned about what's going to happen. And you make that jump and you take that jump into the unknown. It's called the leap of faith. It's called the walking into the water because the faith is walking into that water, expecting it to part. Why does that happen? That's a magical moment. It's when you put your foot forward and you said to yourself, I'm going to take a step forward and not be afraid anymore and the waters will part. Independence. Independence is the opportunity to do something that you've always wanted to do, but you've been afraid to do um, because you're not confident. And when you start to have small successes and you gain confidence, you will begin to gain confidence and independence. Independence it's that, it, it is that thing that gives you the opportunity to think on your own without the fear of thinking about what people might say, thinking of what, about what your uncle, your aunt, your cousin, your brother, your sister might say. Independence is that ability for you to move on your own and say, you know what, I'm gonna reach out. I've, I'm feeling pretty good. I've got some confidence right now. I've got a little bit of success under my belt. You've got it within you. It's that independence. Independence is something that everybody wants. How much are you looking for independence? You know what? Um, confidence and plus independence is equal to a productive lifestyle. Do you want to live life on your own terms or on somebody else's terms? My recommendation today is begin with that one step into the unknown because the waters will begin to part the moment you walk in faith into that unknown it's not going to open for you if you don't go right through it you know there's a in the old days there used to be this <clears throat> at the gates of these castles the horse carriage had to run quick through this part of the opening where if the horse carriage did not move quickly enough the doors did not open so the horse carriage would continue the movement right the person that was pushing the horse would continue movement through the gates by just compelling the horses to go forward. If they stopped, the gates would never open. Remember, open the doors by walking. Even though you believe the door is not going to open, run through it because what will happen is the doors will open. When you knock, the door shall be open. When you walk, the, the seas shall be parted. That's what's going to happen. I love those anecdotes, those stories, because they show that with faith, you can make things happen for yourself, for your family, and for others. How many times have you told yourself, I want to do this, but I just don't know how. And um, the magic is in stepping into faith. The magic is in setting that foot forward so that you can become independent through confidence and have a productive lifestyle. Have a wonderful day, everybody.